hey you guys welcome back welcome back and if you are new here welcome i hope all my besties are doing well and i hope y'all get a lot out of today's video before i jump into today's video i do want to say two things first please don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are manifesting this 100k plat we are on the road to 100,000 even though we only have 2,000 followers and we got about 98,000 more followers to go I know we can do it very fast especially if you hit that subscribe button but yeah let's manifest this 100k y'all help a girl out okay so today's video is going to be a topic that a lot of people ask me about and uh, I get a lot of questions on so I decided to go ahead and drop a video on it and that is how to start your own YouTube channel. But before I get into that, like all my tips and tricks and all the equipment that I use, cause I'm gonna show you guys all the equipment and I'm also gonna drop down literally everything in the comments that I use, well in the description that I use. But I wanted to say how it's changed my life so far. At the time of this video, I have about 2000 and let me see, I wanna get that right, y'all. Let's see. I have 2,088 subscribers right now, and I have 3,860 watch hours. So I'm literally 140 watch hours away from being monetized. And I hit the thousand subscriber mark a couple months ago. So a lot of people were saying once you hit the thousand subscriber mark, subscribers really don't matter. It's really based more on watch time. Like the only thing that really matters with subscribers after that is when you hit your big milestones like the 100K and you get the silver plaque and stuff. But what you're really going for are watch hours. But I'll talk more about that in the video. But like I was saying, how YouTube has changed my life in the past few months. In the past few months, I've really taken my YouTube a lot more serious. I've been trying to post a little bit more consistent. And I've also been opening up more about my personal self. And in doing that, I have gained a community, a village like no other. Like me and my kids were homeless for the past few months. YouTube is the reason why I'm standing in this apartment and I'm not even monetized yet but I made a video asking for help because me and my kids was on a deadline to get moved because we really didn't have anywhere to go at the moment so I made a video and I reached out to my YouTube family my TikTok family my Facebook family asking for help for us to get our keys and when I tell y'all my YouTube village came through like they came through that's why i'm standing in this apartment right now like youtube has literally helped me go from homeless to home and being a single mom and not really having a good support system youtube is a blessing to me i've met so many wonderful people on youtube i haven't physically met them in person but just talking to them on the phone FaceTiming, texting, messaging back and forth, becoming friends on social media. I mean, it's been a blessing. Like, I have a new bestie. Her name is Peaches. She's from Cali. She really been looking out for me and my kids. It's a blessing to have her. And I said, once I get back on my feet and we're stable and the channel's doing good and all the businesses are up and doing good, then I will be taking a road trip out there to see her. And then I have a few more friends like my South Cal girl. I'm going to see her as well. Tisha, I'm going to see her as well. All of them are in California. So I do want to go across the country doing meet and greets and stuff like that. And then another thing, I had a lady reach out to me a couple days ago from my YouTube channel again. And... She was just like, I've been watching your content and I really want to help you and your kids. And when I say she she came through, y'all, she the reason why we still have lights on right now. And it's crazy because when I was talking to her, I get like mom vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like I saved her under mama and then her name. 
So like, I just, I don't know, it's just something about her. I, I just really felt a connection with her and talking to her on the phone, it's like talking to my mom or talking to one of my mom's sisters, like one of my aunties or something, cause they're all a lot older, cause she's a lot older as well. And she lives a stay over in Alabama. But when I say that that lady has been blessing us, like she's blessed us because she's the reason why my lights are still on. I was telling her that I wanted to do the mama sweatshirts that are going viral right now. It says mama and then established in with all the kids' names on the sleeves. But I didn't have a cricket or a silhouette to cut out the vinyl for the sweaters. Y'all, she done sent me a cricket, um, I mean not a cricket, a silhouette cameo for. She ordered some of the stuff off of my wish list. Um, peaches came through. She been giving me um and stuff off of Amazon for the business. She been coming through with sublimation paper, sublimation ink. She just sent me some cups. And then my YouTube mama, she got me um, cups coming tomorrow. And then she also bought me a new wig, y'all. Like, like, I can't feel good if I don't look good. And I, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm always in this funk and I just been looking like this. So y'all don't have to worry about seeing this wig too much longer because I do have a new wig coming tomorrow. I don't know what happened to the wig I got for a dollar off of TikTok. That hasn't came yet. We'll talk about that when it does come or if it does come. But anyway, like YouTube has really changed my life. It has helped me and my kids. It has saved us from homelessness. We are on the verge of becoming monetized and I'm about to be dropping so much more content. So now I know in the next six months, things are gonna be way different. Like my YouTube is just now growing, but on TikTok, I'm already at 40,000 followers and I really don't promote my YouTube that much on TikTok. So I'm gonna start doing that a lot more because we're gonna be doing vlogs and all that. But when I say YouTube has changed my life because it allowed me to find my people, people that are like me, because so many of my subscribers and my besties, y'all relate to me because I'm just genuine. I'm realistic. Like, and I'm just genuine. I'm realistic. And a lot of y'all see myself in you. And it's crazy because I really didn't think anybody watched my content like that, but I'm constantly getting messages from people like, oh, we can't wait till you drop. We literally be waiting every day for you to drop. We watch all your videos. And just knowing that it's people out there, that's my besties are out there, and y'all are really into my content. Y'all enjoy it, y'all appreciate it. Y'all just don't know. Like that really motivates me to push even further. And I can't wait to see what we are going to do with this channel going into 2024 because I don't need that many watch hours. So I expect to be monetized. It is Friday. I expect to be monetized no later than Monday or Tuesday because I got like three or four videos that y'all are going to get over the weekend. I might go ahead and drop all three of the videos I'm about to make tomorrow. But yeah, like YouTube has been a blessing. Like it has really changed my life. It has really blessed me and my kids. I am so grateful and I'm gonna put so much into this YouTube channel and I'm gonna give y'all my all. We're in this journey together, you know what I'm saying? Like I said the other day, when I build my house, I'm taking y'all there with me. When I take these road trips and we do these meet and greets, y'all going to come along for the ride. For all the reviews and all the stuff we're going to do, y'all going to be right there with me. I'm going to document everything. I'm getting a lot better about picking up this camera and recording, and that is thanks to my besties. But I do have a lot of stuff I want to go over in the video. So I just wanted to tell you guys real quick how life-changing YouTube could be. So I could just imagine how it's going to be when my followers really get up there. And I have a really, really, really huge community once we hit that 100K. And then once I start getting like brand deals and sponsorships and stuff like that, I could just imagine what this channel is gonna turn into. I have a few ladies that I'm gonna be working with to help them build their channels and we just gonna grow as a team. Like it's Boss Babes Uniting, okay? Boss Babe Besties. That's what we're gonna start calling ourselves, Boss Babe Besties. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I need to 
text that to myself. When I edit it, I'll text that to myself. But let's go ahead and get into the video because I just wanted to give you some rundown on some things and talk about what it really takes to start a YouTube channel and just some tips and tricks and all of the equipment that I use. Because when I'm on TikTok Live, I get constantly asked about the equipment I use. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the video and we're going to get into it. Okay, you guys, so for this part of the video, I do have a lot of notes, so I will be looking down a lot because I did write down a lot of things and I don't want to miss anything because it's a lot of stuff that I want to go over. And I'm also going to try to go over it quickly because it's a lot of stuff. Okay, the first thing that I want to say is when you decide that you're going to start your YouTube and you're serious about it, I want you to find your reason why. Because that is going to motivate you and be your driving force. Whenever you do something big, such as start a YouTube, start a business, whatever it is, when you're going towards a goal, working towards a goal, Always make sure you have that reason why at the front of your head and you're always remembering it. Like for me, my personal reason for starting this YouTube channel was to become more stable, to be able to build a house for me and my kids, to be able to get my teeth done, to be able to help others expand their business. And because I really enjoy content creating, it was something I've been wanting to do for a while, but for the longest time, I was just really nervous. Like it's a passion. Like the more I do it, the more I love it. You know what I'm saying? You can, you guys can tell cause I'm starting to drop more and more videos. I'm opening up a lot more to y'all and everything. So that is the number one thing. Find your reason why. And another thing I'm going to talk about is everybody is like, pick a niche, pick a niche, do this, stick to one topic and build your audience. For some people that works, for a lot of people that works, for me personally, I can't be in a niche because I think too outside the box. And my mind has ADHD and I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do this. So that's how I grew my TikTok to 40,000 40, followers by not having a niche. Like when I first started my TikTok, I was making epoxy cups. We was doing lip gloss, body butters. We was doing doormats. We was doing like the beaded bracelets. We was doing the, um, I don't know if I said porch size. I was doing the Starbucks snow globe cups. I mean, I have tried it all, but that allowed me to grow faster because I was doing so many different things that it brought so many people my way. So that really helped. And also with YouTube, I don't want to be in a niche. Like, I don't want to be on here strictly talking about sublimation. Like, I want to switch it up. I want to do a lot of sublimation stuff because I am passionate about sublimation. So y'all will be getting those videos. Y'all know I love my printers and stuff. Y'all will be getting those videos. I also love to vlog. I love to do content with the kids and stuff. So y'all will be getting a lot more of those videos like day in my life and, and grocery hauls and just little stuff that we doing. We might start doing cooking reviews and stuff where we might try a recipe offline or get some hello fresh or something like that and just do little recipes with y'all and stuff but not sticking to a niche allows me to be able to do that and then i get a whole bunch of different people coming to my youtube channel so that's why i'm gonna make sure i'm dropping consistent content so that way y'all can get at least one business content video a week or two business content videos a week and then y'all will get one or two regular videos like a vlog or a, a grocery haul video or a toy review video from the kids or something but I don't, I don't do the niche, me personally. If that's what you want to do and you know exactly what niche you want to go into, then go into it and do it full force. But me personally, I like to do a lot of stuff. You, you're going to come to my channel and you never know what you're going to see. You might see a boxy charm unboxing. I might be reviewing a wig. I might be doing some makeup. I might be cooking. I might be um, converting a printer. We could be packing orders. Like, you never know what you're going to get with me. It's, but it's always going to be something fun, interesting, and hot and trendy. So, I don't do the niche. If you want to do the niche, that's on you. Okay, the next on the equipment, I mean on the list is 
just start now everybody's like when should i start a youtube when should i start a youtube just start now as long as you have a cell phone you can start now that's all you need because you can record your videos on your phone and you can edit them in iMovie and upload them to YouTube. It's that simple. YouTube also has a new program out now where we can also start editing right there in the YouTube app. I think that did just drop, so I'm not exactly sure how good that works yet, but just start now because that's the biggest issue because I used to do the same thing like for years and years and years. Hold on my baby up. Okay, sorry, my baby had woke up. But like I was saying, just start now. Like, that's all it takes. Just go ahead, name your channel, post your first upload, and just start now. Because like Mr. Beast always say, you have to push through 100 videos. Your first 100 videos are going to be trash. I mean, it is what it is. You're growing as a content creator. If you look at all of your favorite content creators, if they still have all of their earlier videos, um public and on their page go to their content and look how they started out they started out just like we started out their content was not all that good and the more they posted the more they grew the better their editing get got the better their equipment got and all that so just start now okay and promoting your channel you got to promote your channel i don't promote my channel too much on tiktok but i'm a, about to change that more now because i do have so many followers on tiktok but i do promote my channel a lot on my facebook page and i do get a lot of support and traffic from my facebook page from my youtube but like even on the back of my sweater i got on the back of my sweater, I got my YouTube channel, my TikTok, all that. Promote yourself. You are your brand. You know what I'm saying? So promote yourself as much as you can. Have your friends and family watch your videos and give you feedback. But you got to do that. And another thing, and this is like one of the biggest things. This is one of the biggest things because this is what's going to hold you back. You, you cannot be afraid of what other people think. And that was one of my biggest issues. And it was like, I was so afraid of what people thought that then people was probably wasn't even thinking about me. And I'm more concerned about what they thought. I had to literally train my mind to not care what other people think about me. I had to train my mind to not care what I look like on camera right now. Because, yeah, I might look bummy right now. But once we get this 100K... Uh, I'm not gonna look bummy no more. I'm gonna be running around here looking real nice, okay? So don't care about what people think. Push through that. Because just, I keep this in the back of my mind. Know that better days are coming. Push through the bad, push through the ugly. Because I look like this right now. Y'all come back in six months to a year and see how I look and see how my YouTube channel done blown up. I guarantee I look a lot different. So you have to literally train your mind to just not care. It took me a couple months to do that. And then once I got in the habit of doing that, it was a lot more easier to make content. And I got a lot more comfortable with my camera. So now I can just sit here and chop it up with y'all. And I don't care what I look like. I don't care what my teeth look like. I don't care what my hair look like. As y'all can see in one of the videos, I, I, I put my bonnet off and showed y'all my, my nappy hair. Like, I do not care. Like I said, my level of not giving a F is all the way up here, okay? Like, you have to train your mind to not care. And another thing, be yourself. Like, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about before I jump into the equipment because th these are like the key things besides consistency. I'm not going to really touch on consistency because we already know. Because you say it on YouTube, you say it on TikTok, you say it on Facebook, you say it on Instagram. But it's true. Like, it is true. Be consistent. That's how I was able to grow my TikTok to 40,000 followers. Because for months straight, I would post four or five, six videos a day. So I stayed on the For You page. And with Christmas coming up, I'm about to get back into the habit of that. Y'all going to get vlogs missing. Y'all going to get videos every day. But you have to be consistent. Because the algorithm will reward you for being consistent. They'll push your content out more. So you got to be consistent. But another thing is be yourself. Be yourself. Because when you're not being yourself, the camera will pick it up. 
People can tell when you are being fake. People can tell when you're not genuine. People can tell when you're not being yourself. They can tell when you are capping, okay? So just be yourself. And it makes it a lot easier to do content. And you want to do content when you want to be yourself. But if you got to pick up the camera, and every time you pick up the camera, you just extra fake and you have to turn into a whole nother person who wants to do that all the time unless you're your Beyonce or something turning into Sasha Fierce but the, the majority of us don't want to have to do that all the time so just be yourself because people know when you're not being yourself and it's, it's, it makes it a lot easier to do your content because you can just pick up the camera, turn it on, and then there you go. So just be yourself. You don't have to overthink nothing. It makes it so much easier. And you will find people that's just like you in, in similar situations just like you. You will find your community like I did. You will find your village. You will find your besties when you just be yourself. Okay. And now we are going to get into equipment oh another thing the last thing i talk about before i get into the equipment youtube shorts like youtube shorts are really 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 being pushed out right now so you have to utilize the youtube shorts it really doesn't count against your watch time unless you go stupid viral and you get like 10 million views but it'll help you build up followers and stuff and if you make good content those followers will go watch your content so i have been noticing that i'm getting followers from dropping more youtube shorts lately and they're going and watching my content so let me tell you guys youtube wants us to use the shorts use the shorts okay use the shorts as much as you can and what i do is now i'll record a video in my phone i'll edit it in cap cut so that way i can repurpose that content so i'll post that video on my youtube shorts i might post it on tiktok i'll post it on facebook and then i'll post it on instagram because i used to just record it on tiktok download it then it had the tiktok watermark i don't do that no more i just record it with my phone like a regular standard video i edit it in a cap cut and then i have a clean video that i can now upload on all of my sites so use that okay but let's talk about equipment first and foremost if you don't have a camera if you don't have nothing else you have your phone there's a setting in your phone that automatically lets it shoot in 4k at 60 frames per second make sure that it's on so every time you hit video record you're automatically shooting in 4k you want your videos to be 4k because the better quality videos are the videos that youtube is going to push out along at as well as those are the videos that your viewers are going to watch if your video isn't good quality they're just going to keep on going past it there's all type of accessories that you can get for your phone you can buy flashes for them you can buy microphones like this for them you can get all types of stuff for the phone the one thing about shooting with the phone is you want to try to use the rear camera because it's the best camera and also turn it sideways because if you're doing a YouTube video, it's best to record with it sideways or you're going to have to adjust the size when you go to edit. But it's as simple as that. And then we'll talk about editing next. When I first started, I was using iMovie. It worked fine. I was able to do some basic stuff. It got the job done. Now, I use CapCut. I use CapCut and I love it. You can download your own fonts so you can have custom words going across the screen. They have all types of stickers, transitions, all types of effects. You can make almost like a you can make like a cinematic movie in in CapCut. And they also have a pro version that you can pay for monthly. I think it's like 10 to 12 dollars and and the pro version allows you to get even more features. And then for editing, I do use an Apple iMac 27 inch. I bought it off of Facebook a couple months ago. It was only like $300 and it was like fully specced out. It is like a 2002, uh, 2018 or 2019 um, iMac 27 inch. But like I said, it's fully specced out 
and that computer is specifically for editing YouTube videos and thumbnails. I don't do anything else on that computer. I will drop it up here so that way you guys can see it from Amazon and I will also link everything down below. But that is the computer that I use for editing and it works. I don't have any issues. I do need to get me an external hard drive, but outside of that, I'm good. Now we will talk about cameras. I'm going to drop a video up right here of my camera. And I do have the Sony ZV-1F. It retails for about $450 on Amazon. And when I tell y'all I love this camera, I love this camera. My favorite thing about the camera is it's very user friendly. It shoots in 4K. You, could, you can shoot as long as you want. And then you can even plug it in. So even if your batteries are dead, you can plug it in and keep shooting. And then it's also like a webcam. You can use it as a webcam. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. But yes, it does shoot in 4K. And then like I was saying, if you plug it in, you could um, record as long as your memory card is. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really, really do love this camera. Before I had this camera, I had the Canon M50. It was an okay camera, but it was two things that I didn't like about it. I had the original M50, so it didn't do 4K, and then it only recorded for 30 minutes at a time. So every 30 minutes, I would have to start my recording over, and I shoot long form content, so that every 30 minutes was not working for me. Unfortunately, keeping it real, because y'all know I keep it real, I ended up having to pawn that camera when things had really got bad. So when I was doing good over the summer with my TikTok shop, I did replace it with the Canon ZV-1F. And I do have a few accessories that I am going to show you guys for the camera. The mic that I use, it is a shotgun mic from Rhodey. And it is currently hooked up to the camera right now. And I absolutely love this mic. I will leave a picture up here and I will also link it down below. It's about $50, but the sound quality is excellent. And that's one thing you want when you're doing YouTube. You want good sound and you want good lighting. Now these are my lights. This is the We Light 18 inch RGB ring light. I will drop it right here. It is about $100, but it does a lot. Like it lights up white and then it's an RGB ring light. So you can also do colors with it as well. Like, let me show you. See how you can do the colors? And then you can change your colors by just turning the little knob and stuff. I might be going the wrong way. I have yet to figure out how to work this light because it's like a, it's like a expensive ring light, y'all. Well, it's, I wouldn't say expensive, Cause it's like a hundred dollars, but I want to say like fancy. Like why? Okay. 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 There we go. And then that's how you change the colors. So I really like it. And then it also comes with batteries. So you don't have to plug it up. Well, it doesn't come with the batteries. You can purchase the batteries separately, but it does have the option to put batteries in it. So if you wanted to take it outside or if you just didn't want to leave it plugged up, you have that option. I also have these photo light boxes. I have one right here over the top of my camera. That's the lighting I'm using right now. But this is what it looks like because they come two in a set. I will drop those right here from Amazon. And the thing I love about these is when I'm taking when I'm taking like content videos of my cups, when I use the ring light, I can see the circle glare from the ring light in the cup. But when I use these photo boxes, I don't have that issue. It just gives me good quality light. And they're also really good for when I go live and when I'm doing content. Like I really don't even use my ring light anymore because I use the photography light so much. Like I'm so addicted to the photography light. So y'all have to get some of those. Okay. This is the item that I get asked about all the time and it's one of my favorite items, but it is a lavalier, I'm sorry, it's a lavalier mic and I use this when I am on TikTok live. But I just clip it onto my shirt.
that piece plugs into my phone and then I instantly have a mic. You can also use this for voiceovers on your videos or whatever, but it makes your audio everything. That's what I keep telling y'all. Your audio has to be good. So invest in good audio, invest in good lighting. It will make your content so much better. Okay, but this is from Amazon and I will link that down below and all of this stuff I am going to be dropping in the um, description box as well. And also tripods. I do have my camera on a tripod right now. You're gonna need two or three of those. You're, you're gonna need two or three of those because you're gonna want, like I need one in my kitchen, I need one in my bathroom, I need one in my office, you know what I'm saying? So get you a few, I gotta leave right here, get you a few tripods for your camera and then you can also switch out this attachment to put your phone on there. Every tripod you buy will come with a remote so you can have a little remote to click it but get you a good floor tripod. And then also if you want, it'd be good to have one of those tripods that go up so you can have your content stream down. Now these are accessories that I got from my camera. This is like a little handheld tripod and it has the remote on it. The remote is removable, I'm gonna link that. And the camera just screws on here so while I'm walking around, I can shoot content like that. But I don't do a lot of walking around content, but if I'm out with the kids or something, then I'll use one of these. And I also have this Manfrotto one as well. This is a very popular one. A lot of the YouTubers have it. It's very cheap. I've had this one since my Canon M50 and it is still holding up very well. So I do recommend this Manfrotto if you just want something cheap. And then you can always, you can put your camera right on here and then you can also put the attachment on there if you want to put your phone in here. Uh-oh, if you want to put your phone in here and walk around with it. Okay, so if you do get a camera, you are gonna want like a little case or something to put on your camera. And I cannot stress this enough. You are going to need these extra batteries. Get as many as you can, stock up on them, keep them charged, because you're gonna go through a lot of batteries, especially if you're not always in the house like I am shooting content. Like right now, my battery's dying, but thankfully my phone is plugged up because I can plug it up. So get you some batteries because you're going to need a lot of batteries and that also brings me to say get you a lot of memory cards get as many memory cards as you can with the most amount of space because when you're doing videos like youtube long form content you're constantly shooting clips and your clips are very long that data is a lot so get you a few memory cards you want your memory card reader so you can plug it into your mac or your computer or your ipad or however you're going to edit and then Another thing I do have is my AirPod Pros. Like if you don't have a microphone, you can still use these AirPod Pros with your phone to do voiceovers and stuff. Because when I didn't have microphones, I would use AirPod Pros to do my voiceovers. And the, the sound quality is very good as long as you're in a somewhat quiet room. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my equipment. Oh, and this thing right here. It's a Ulanzi um, light. I can attach it to my camera. Like, look, I can at attach it to my camera right there. And then it has the spot in the top. So I can put the mic in the top and I'll show you guys a picture of it all connected. But this helps. Like when I do my car vlogs and I be sitting down talking to y'all in the car or something, I'll use this light because the lights from the car, they just look terrible. So I'll turn off the lights in the car and I'll just use this light. And then you can adjust the brightness and everything. And these are like... $15, $20 on Amazon, but it's going to make your video content a lot better. But yeah, that's like everything I use. And it's, it seems like a lot, but for real, for real, it's not a lot. I'm just really starting out and I'm really just building my collection. But this is like a good little starter kit of some cheap items that you can use. And I highly recommend the Sony ZV-1F camera. It's very small. I can fit it in my little purse. 
as long as I don't have the microphone on it. But it's very compact, as you guys can see from my content. It shoots great quality content. So I really recommend the ZV-1F when you are ready to upgrade to a camera and you just want something cheap. It gets the job done and I love it. But yeah, this is all of my equipment. Like I can't stress enough though, you guys, when it comes to YouTube, YouTube is all about production. Okay, like I'm not gonna flex. It's about production. You gotta learn your editing. You gotta make sure your lighting is good. You gotta make sure your audio is good, all that. Because if you don't, they will come for you in the comments. I have a tutorial where my lighting wasn't that good in the room and I will never forget a girl in the comments, she was like, mm, your lighting is just, just terrible. <laughs> And I was just like, okay, and that made me step up my lighting game. But all the big YouTubers will tell you that. You have to have good audio, you have to have good lighting, and you have to have good 4K resolution. But all in all, you can start with your phone, do the videos outside where you get natural sunlight, make sure it's kind of quiet, so that way you don't have all the background noise and stuff. And you can make it, you know what I'm saying? Because like, if you go to my first or second video, I was doing videos on my phone till I got my Canon M50. Yeah, that was my baby again. Sorry about that. But yeah, I was doing videos on my Canon M50. You know what I'm saying? I mean, before I got my Canon M50, I was just doing videos on my um, phone. And I only did like two videos on my phone and I was able to get the Canon M50 and go ahead and just have good quality content. And I think that helps me grow faster as well because I do have good quality content. I'm getting better with my editing. Like if you go back to a video maybe six, seven months ago and then watch today's video, you're gonna be like, okay, I can clearly see that she done upped her game in the editing a little bit more. So it's a process, but you do learn more the more you post because the more you post, the more you're going to have to edit, the more you're going to get used to playing with your lighting and your sound and stuff. So my biggest thing is y'all just be consistent. Your first 100 videos are not going to be good. My first 100 videos, I'm at like video 69, so this might be video 70 or 71. My first 100 videos are going to be trash. I mean, it is what it is. I'm on here boohoo crying like I got my wig off and everything and I probably never private those videos I probably just leave those videos up so that way everybody who comes to my channel even once I hit my 100k followers like everybody who comes to my channel they can see where I started from they can see the growth and the change and how hard we worked over here besties so yeah just be a genuine self be consistent and get you some good audio and some good lighting but I'm trying to look over my notes and I think that is everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I did not really talk about. Your titles, your tags, and your thumbnails. Those are also very, very important. When you are titling your video, you want to make sure it is something that people are going to search. Like when I write the title of this video out, it is going to be how I started my YouTube channel. And the second sentence will be, you two changed my life. And then you're going to want to put good tags in the tag, in the tag options. And then you're also going to um, want to make sure your thumbnail is good. Like, I, I, I get kind of lazy with my thumbnails sometimes, but I'm trying to get better with my thumbnails. But you want your thumbnail to be good. It's important for your thumbnail and your title to be on point because first impressions are everything. And when you are on that first page, you want people to click on your content. So make sure your title is something catchy. Make sure your um, thumbnail is something catchy. Your title don't even have to be super long because you know on that page you can only see so much of your title. So make sure that first sentence is the sentence that they need to see. Okay? But your title and your thumbnails got to be on point as well. And I think for the most part, that's everything. Oh, and music. Of course, you know you can't put copywritten music in your vlogs when you're out and about. If you're in a restaurant, if they're playing music in the background, because mm -mm, YouTube is going to pick that up and you are going to get a copyright strike for that. So I do use Epidemic Sound for sound because you can get sound from Epidemic Sound that is not copyrighted and is good for use. Like it'll show up in your YouTube studio as a copyright because it's from Epidemic Sound, but it'll also have next to the description um, 
the user has permission to use because you got to link your YouTube to Ep Epidemic Sound and they grant you permission for everything you download, even if you don't continue paying your subscription. Like once you download it, you can continue to use it. But Epidemic Sound is a good place to get music from. So, but yeah, that's about everything. That's about everything that I have on here. And I hope you guys felt uh, found this video real informative. If there's any more questions that you have, drop them down below. And I will try to the best of my ability to help you guys out. And we will update this video maybe every six months to one year. Because as my channel grows, I do want to come back and give you guys more tips and tricks. And also little things that I learned. And also update you guys on the newest technology like the tripods and the cameras and stuff like that. Because we do a lot with printers and stuff on here. But I also want to start doing a lot with the video technology and stuff. But my kids is turned up. So let me go ahead and end this video. If you watched all the way through, comment road to 100K. And until next time, I'll see y'all later, besties.